After living in a bus for an entire year, I realized how important an off-grid electrical system is. My first electrical system was full of rookie mistakes, like not using the proper fuse size, not using a pure sine wave inverter, and not using the proper gauge size for wires according to manufacturer spec. It was an all out mess, which cost me a lot of time and money to redo. So I went back to the drawing board and was fortunate enough to spend some time with an electrical engineer to help sharpen my skills. After trial and error, I was able to build an off-grid electrical system that works. We had to make sure our electrical system would have enough power to comfortably accommodate ourselves, our son, and two dogs. But the dogs might take up too much power, which is why we went with 500 amp hours of lithium batteries, a Victron Orion DC to DC charger, which safely charges the batteries using the power from the alternator, a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter from Renogy. The pure sine wave inverter charger is nice because it allows you to use shore power when you're at a campsite or at a friend's house. It also safely converts the energy from your batteries to 110 volts. And that brings us to our 110 volt fuse box, which is basically like your traditional fuse box at home to pop a breaker if you need to shut the electrical off or if there's a short, it'll pop the breaker as well. We also have a 12 volt cooling fan that we can turn on to make sure that there's plenty of ventilation because these electrical systems get pretty hot, especially in the summertime. All of our appliances, including our air conditioner, all run off of 12 volts, which tie into a 12 volt fuse panel. What's nice about the 12 volt fuse panel is that it has an individual fuse for each appliance, just in case there's a short. And that brings us to our Lynx distributor, which is basically a really fancy bus bar with fuses. We also installed a Class C fuse in between the inverter and the, and the Lynx distributor for extra safety. All the wires and fuses are sized to manufacture spec. If you're unsure on which size fuse or wires to use, here's a diagram you can use. This is the diagram I used to build my entire electrical system and it's really helpful. If you're planning or in the process of converting a van, tiny home, bus, or any off-grid rig, you're gonna need a dependable off-grid system that's not only efficient, but safe. Which is why I offer a one-on-one -on -one training to help educate people on how to set up their off-grid electrical system. To get started, just send us an email to beerrunbus at gmail.com and we'll get back to you right away. That's it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the bell notification button to stay up to date on new videos. Peace. <laughs> to get started... <laughs> Sorry, keep, keep rolling. For any off-grid rig, you're going to need an, a, a, a... And... Damn it, I forgot the rest.